what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of Swimming Spirit Edition gentlemen nice to see all of you my name is Face behind the camera work if you are watching this video it's gonna be live on Monday so happy Valentine's Day in advance power so uh, well I'm recording this on Sunday well, I got the chance to actually take a test not test run but actually book uh, you know for a video shoot of the new 2021 Jeep Compass so as you might see from the thumbnail of this video this is gonna be that review of the new 2021 Jeep Compass and what all the differences between the 2017 one and the 2019 one which was in between I don't know why they released it and also the 2021 version this is this one so before I concluded uh, every single one of the models let's hit a quick replay of a beautiful montage of the new 2021 Jeep Compass roll the quick clip right Obviously there are four models, that is the Spoke which is the basic version, next is the Longitude, the Limited as well as the S which is the latest model that they introduced in the year 2021. But uh, when I bought it, it was not the Longitude was the top end model at 2017 and 2019 there were not many models introduced. Well they introduced only the, I said, the Longitude optional was the last model that they released. So mine is a limited optional so it's just below that. So let's start with the Sport. Well it's Sport uh, speed transmission which I really like. So let's check out the exterior right. Oh yeah remarkable looks all this. LEDs on. Let's change the LEDs on or on or off. Yeah, you get a dope LED system, dope greens, and what else? So let's check out the interiors. I'll show you more of the interiors. Crafted for legends. Yep. Yeah. That's the automatic. No, that's the manual. So the making of. Yeah, you can see automatic rain sensing wipers. You get a 10 inch U connect infotainment system. Unfortunately, you get only the. Alpine system which I already got in the 2017 version also the 2019 version 2019 version infotainment system was yeah, not pretty good so that's one uh, they didn't approve it but you get what you get right so and you get a dual panel sunroof uh, you get an 8-way power adjustable driver seat with 4-way lumbar support that I did not include as well as the 2019 as well as the 2018 uh, version or the 17 version which I have so it got a ventilated seats, yeah, panoramic sunroof, and you got a dual zone automatic AC, which obviously all models have it, whether it's a 2017 or a 2019. You get a wireless feature which doesn't come with any of the old models of the Jeep Compass, and you got some uh, 10.2 inch customizable instrument cluster. To be fair, this comes only in the sport, the top end version that is the S model and not the other version. Other version it comes in the same normal screen which comes in either the 2019 version, uh, the 2017 didn't have one, 2017 is a full instrument cluster, is a full analog unit, uh, only the center part of the screen is the uh, digital unit. But this comes uh, everything digital unit. And the S comes in a full screen mode, right? So that's one good. And you've got the engine stop, start stop features. You get 60 feet, uh, 60 safety. I'll show you more of, of the safety. And I really like the steering. They took the steering design from the new Range Rover Defenders. So I really like that. And <coughs> what else? Exterior is done. So let's go to the 
safety and security which is probably the most good thing that everyone is coming to it uh, obviously you get your every apple carplay as well as your android auto so if you get uh, if you get your safety you got your airbags usual stuff your all season tires uh, so uh, all season tires it's a falcon unit 18 inch unit and also you get a 20 inch unit for a limited version i think so i'm not sure about that but i think it comes with a board a road noise i don't know how it is uh, captivated in the new 2021 version but 2017 as well as the 2019 version which comes with the standard falcon wheels uh, sorry it's not a falcon right it's a fast tone wheels yeah i got it fast tone wheels not good you know it's not good in high speed because there is a lot of road noise that you can hear from inside so that's why i changed my to a Pirelli P4 so that's really good so if you want it more in the description below or if you want me to put any link to that comment down below in the comment section and also you get a new tire press monitoring system which doesn't available for the low end version as well as sport and the limited uh, it is available only for the S version which is not yet uh, on the showroom flow still now right so that's that's why I couldn't take it and the model that you saw is actually the limited version or the longitude version whatever you want to call it so you got your auto hold features you got your electronic stability control you got your remote trailers uh, and there's a new feature that is included at it seems that you can unlock your trunk with a key that is not available and you got your 360 degree camera as I told you before which is currently very useful and also you get a new you know uh, what is it new connected feature with the new Jeep Life app and that's cool right so let's check ah come on man shut the fuck up so let's check it here are all your interiors and exterior features your entertainment your capability I hope you can see it clearly guys so comfort all the seats safety you got your safety you got your four wheel drive variants and let's see yeah you get a uh, two liter multi jet diesel with a six speed manual transmission it's a two wheel drive and also you get a multi jet diesel which is an automatic version and that's a four wheel drive and always if you want petrol you get the 1.4 liter multi jet petrol sorry the multi air petrol engine uh, with a six speed manual transmission and if you want another two wheel drive for petrol you get the seven speed dct unit so if you want the diesel version with the manual and the two wheel drive you're gonna go with the 2.0 liters multi jet diesel engine as well as if you want a four wheel drive you're gonna get it only in an automatic not a two wheel i mean not a two wheel drive automatic version you're gonna get it only in four wheel drive and if you want to get it four wheel drive in petrol well your options are gone to the roof there's only a 1.4 liter multi air display so that's you know naturally aspirated not a jet engine uh, sorry not a turbo engine sorry turbo engine like the you get in a diesel version and both just want to get you only two wheel drive not the four wheel drive but you can either opt for a six speed manual transmission or a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission from which i have heard before so let me bring it back right now so from the features that i heard before or from the test drive because I think mostly no one has got the test drive except for the high-end YouTubers like the Autocar India magazines and something like that. So it seems that the DCT transmission, uh, the automatic transmission, it's a little bit, you know, shifting gears, it's a little bit laggy, but otherwise it's a good transmission DCT. I don't know which gearbox they took it from. So that's one good news. And also the G rates are a little bit on the lower side on the 2021 compared to the 2017 version or the 2019 version due to pandemic and all the things that is going around this world. So I'm really glad that Jeep stepped up the market and bought us some new good features which I was really asking them to bring it well. They were, you know, they brought many features uh, from the Tata cars as well as they took some inspiration like the inner linings. Uh, from the Range Rover Defender which I really like so I hope to get a test drive so Jeep if you are seeing this video please hook up your man with the Jeep Compass for a day test drive uh, I need to see the differences between the 2017 version and the 2019 version basically uh, the engine as well as the brakes and all the systems are same 
uh, as mine as well as this but the only good thing that i can say is that they upgraded the gearbox which was in my car it was little bit down you know it was down somewhere right over here and in the 2021 they brought it up to right here so you have a lot of you know hand space to keep it and you can freely move your gear which is really useful when you're driving your car on the track i don't know who's gonna take your jeep compass on the track but it's gonna be really useful so i don't want to make this video too long it's already 10 minutes and you got your overview laps of the jeep compass so if you're not clear uh post down in the comment section below or hit me up on the instagram handle at solution at future at solution and all the other social platforms uh i'll make a detailed review if you want me to do that maybe i'll take a test drive and put it down you know i'll narrow it down for the path but that's all for today's video i know it's been long since you met me uh so i'll try to keep you updated as, uh, as possible but with that said thank you for tuning in for today's video uh, if you're not a part of this video you can hit the subscribe button hit the notifications and give this video a big fat thumbs up so that it will, it makes to the youtube algorithm and it's promoted towards the upper side of the youtube and i'll see you on the next video until then it's your signing out peace